You said a very interesting thing about parents. It crosses with psychology, and now it is developing very actively, but in completely various directions. There is atheistic material psychology, and there are psychologists who try to combine both spiritual and material psychology. What do you think? Maybe you have seen some positive examples where psychology really helps a person to get rid of traumas in order to elevate their consciousness. Can it serve for good? Because if you take psychology in general, it stands for psychologos, the science of the soul. It was originally conceived as a science of the soul. Later on, science Scientists who studied the psychics began to appear, forgetting about the spiritual component. Man will not be able to combine matter and spirit by himself. He himself is confused. Psychologists, ordinary psychologists, they are also ordinary people. They identify themselves, their soul, with this body. They can't separate these spaces inside themselves. Then how will they do it? By some kind of manipulation? Some kind of mind setting? Some kind of suggestion? Some kind of mindset? That's why you need a human being, someone who is connected to God, because for God there is no difference between matter and spirit. He can use everything as he sees fit. This body can be spiritual if it serves God. If I serve people, it is not yet spiritual. It is already better qualitatively if I have some element of selflessness. But still, it is not spiritual yet. It is already a certain deviation to live for oneself, for the good of people. Humanism, it is already a deviation. Do you know why? Because humanism means only love to human beings, and animals are sent to slaughter. That's what humanism is. It is an imperfect consciousness. You have to love life as a whole. That is, man has to take care of all forms of life, this conglomerate of life the whole, the complete whole. That is why the concept of the complete whole is given to man, that is, the divine concept is given. And this divine knowledge, it can combine matter and spirit together, where there is no conflict between them, no contradictions. Therefore, the prophets of God do not come from themselves. All prophets come from God. If this person, a psychologist, is engaged in spiritual practice, studying spiritual science, can he help people? This is already a spiritual master. Such a psychologist is already a spiritual master. He can understand not only the psychology of men and women, the psychology of, let's say, money, how we do it, how we work, how we behave in the workplace. He can also understand the psychology of the soul. Such psychologists of the third millennium, as they say, are needed. You see, we are already going further. We already have different historical experience. We have all experience. Capitalism, communism, imperialism, I don't know, the slave system, anything. Everything has already happened. We know everything. We have seen everything. We don't know where to go next. The only way out, the only last way out, is the soul, some other dimension of our relations and being. The soul is prescribed in the Holy Scriptures, in books. People know this term. They know the term, but it is the mystery. No one can open himself, know himself from this point of view. And this is where help is needed. If such a psychologist helps, it is already a spiritual master.